every, every man and every woman who's given birth knows that they get super emotional when they're pregnant. The function of the uterus is to absorb emotional stress. Oh, this is brand new information. You've never heard this before. So when you're angry, what happens to you physiologically? When you're stressed, what happens to you physiologically? When you're worried, what happens to you physiologically? When you're fearful, okay? So you get tense and all that goes four fingers below the belly button. And in Chinese medicine, we call that the center of chi. And the center of chi is exactly where your uterus is. Now, if you were laying flat in bed and you wanted to turn over, what's the first muscle that would engage? Abs. The abs, absolutely. You can't move your leg unless this muscle tightens up. If you're sitting in a chair and you want to stand up, this is the first muscle. If you're in a, in a car and you want to get out of the car, that's the muscle that tightens. If you want to turn around and look over your shoulder, that's the first muscle that tightens. So your uterus is connected to what we call the pubococcygeal muscles. And they are a series of concentric muscles. Now, when you pee or poo, what muscle is involved in peeing and pooing? Abs. The pubococcygeal muscles. The PB muscles. Okay, so those are the muscles that strengthen your uterus. Why didn't we know this? Why didn't they teach us this in high school? Okay, now I started off with the meridians, kidney, liver, spleen. Kidneys go right through the groin. The spleen goes right through the stomach. And the liver goes right through the groin. So kidney, liver, and spleen all go through the uterus. What? There's three acupuncture meridians that go through the uterus. Now, if I stomp my foot, stomp your foot. Do you feel a vibration? Put, yes. put your hand on your leg. Stomp. You feel a vibration in your leg. That same vibration goes up and strengthens your uterus. So stomp dance. Who did, who did stomping in college? Who did stomping in high school? Mm -hmm. yeah. High school, you did stomping, okay? Now, this is the fertility dance. If you dance and stomp your feet, go in a circle. This is how we strengthen the uterus. This is how we build fertility. And guess what? It works for boys too. Because boys' testicles hang. And when they stomp their feet, it creates a vibration that increases motility and viability of the sperm. Hmm. Do I need drugs? No, I just need to do a stomp dance. That's all I need to do, and I need to do it every Friday night or Saturday night. Now, when I was in college, during finals week, what did we do every night? Party. We party. A, to relieve stress. That was it, and two, to clear the mind so we could study better. So partying is out of our, because we now we want to smoke and drink and eat instead of actually partying. So the fertility dance is something that's really important for us to do. And we forgot. We knew it when we were teenagers, but we forgot. Okay, now for guys, Guess where the prostate is? That high up your anal sphincter. So every time you poo, something is pushing past your prostate gland. Now, what if you're not eating enough fiber? You may poop it. What if you're not drinking enough water? You're not pooping. What if you're constipated? <laughs> Which means your prostate is not getting a massage. 
So, typically, some guys play basketball, some guys run, some guys play baseball, some guys play football, and some guys play... Video games. <laughs> okay, so what's that doing? Zip zero denata. Okay, that's not doing anything for fertility. Okay? So, we forgot how to dance. We forgot the importance of partying without drugs and alcohol. <laughs> without drugs and alcohol. Okay? So that's what we've got to do. Okay, put on the next song. Cool. Now this next dance is called the Tai Chi Pole Dance. The Tai Chi Pole Dance. Okay, stand up. Stand up.
Thank you.